Hey guys, we're super excited to be here at the LA Fit Expo. It's our third year in a row. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be launching the Tasty Pastry. It's a low carb Pop Tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods, Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Friday, August 21st, 2020. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Lately, I've been talking to some of my friends in the corporate world who've been telling me about how there's a big push now to making practicing mindfulness a part of their daily routines. The thought is that by taking more time to be aware and intentional, It'll free up their minds to be more effective decision makers. But people like Samson Dowdo don't need a mindfulness retreat to get their heads right. All they need is a gym, a pair of headphones, and a date circled on their calendar. I've been told by a few people that Samson is quietly targeting a new show sometime soon to make a season debut, where I think he has a chance to make a huge impression if he's on his game. Samson has all the tools you look for in a future Olympian. And if he could hold it all together, that future might only be five months away. Here's a fun fact for you. Did you know that when wolves hunt large prey, there's one animal in the pack whose job it is to circle around the front and take their victim head on? And with so many wolves circling in the men's physique division right now, I'm curious to see which one of them is brave enough to be the one who tries to take Ray Edmonds head on. If you just look at the recent history of the division, when someone makes it to the top, they usually occupy that spot for a while. When Ray's at his best, he's a different type of animal. He's got a bigger bite than anyone who's been in this place before. So if someone is trying to circle around his front, they better make sure they come correct. I've been around long enough to have seen or read about every supplement and pill known to man. And I could say with 100% certainty that there's no magic bullet that can turn you into the Hulk overnight. But if there was, don't you think a guy like Josh Wade would be the poster child for something like that? Recently, Josh announced that he was planning to make his season debut at the Chicago Pro eight weeks from now, where I'm sure he'll be ready to jump right into the mix after having to stop and start his prep a few different times due to shows being canceled. If there's one thing we know about Josh, it's that he's not the type to shy away from the grind. He likes to dig in, so I'd expect to see him kick it into high gear over these next two months now that he knows for sure it's go time. Until I had kids, I never truly understood what it meant when people said youth is wasted on the young. And now that I do, I can say for sure that all of those people are wrong. Just look at what a guy like Hunter Labrada has done for bodybuilding already. Not only did he step in and dismantle a lineup of battle-tested veterans in his pro debut, he also did it in a way that completely re-energized a part of the season that was losing a lot of steam with shows being canceled left and right. He brought a youthful energy back to bodybuilding at a time when the sport desperately needed it. And I don't think he's done yet. There's still a ton of uncertainty swirling around the rest of the season, and being able to latch onto something like Hunter who has an intangible it factor will be huge over these next few months. This isn't youth wasted. It's youth stepping up and seizing the moment the way only young people can. And I think we should all try to enjoy the ride. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.